This video shows a person with advanced chronic kidney disease just before starting the hemodialysis session through a tunneled catheter which has previously been inserted through the neck. A clean, dry, white dressing completely covers the catheter. Hemodialysis catheters should only be used for hemodialysis sessions. The catheter should only be connected to the dialysis machine by the unit's specialized professionals. It should preferably be done by two professionals, one of them a nurse. Both the medical staff and the person carrying the catheter must wear a mask to prevent germs from infecting the catheter. A sepsis or hygiene measures are essential to avoid infections of the catheter. The nurse has removed the dressing and then put on a sterile gloves. First, the catheter exit site is examined and disinfected, ensuring that there is no secretion, no crust or signs of infection, either in the area of the exit site or in the subcutaneous catheter tunnel. In this case, the hole is slightly red. The two professionals then change their sterile gloves. Following this, the catheter branches or lumens are disinfected and the catheter checked to make sure it is permeable. To do this, a syring is used to extract the anticoagulant from each branch and serum is introduced to check this permeability. The catheter is then connected with great care to avoid contamination. Finally, the catheter connections are protected with the sterile cloth and the lines fixed to avoid pulling. Everything is ready to start the dialysis session.